I'm Megan Dorsey with College Prep Results, and this is the two-minute PSAT score highlight. Starting off with the paper copy of your scores you could receive from the college guidance office at your high school, you'll see the big numbers. This is what everybody wants. The total score is achieved by adding a student's evidence-based reading and writing plus their math. You can see here the range is between a 320 and a 1520, and that's supposed to equate to SAT scores, which run between a 400 and a 1600. Here's the answer to the big question. Is this a good score? I tell students there are two things they need to do. First, look at the percentiles. Now that's not percent right, that's how did you do compared to other students? 18th percentile means that out of 100 students, this student did better than 18. Mm, that's a little below average. Math, on the other hand, did better than 47 out of 100 students. That's right down the middle average. Better than half, worse than the other half. And you can see the combined score is in 28th percentile. That gives us a am I above average, average, or below average idea. The second thing is go take these numbers and compare them to the admissions numbers at the colleges and universities you're interested in. I'd skip over all this middle stuff. It's sort of informative, but not necessary. And this last page is the real gold from this score report. It's how a student did question by question. When you get your booklet back, spend an hour or two comparing these notes to how you did. Why'd you miss it? What do you need to do to improve? And that will tell you what you can do to bring up those SAT scores. If this is interesting, but you need more information, I've got a longer video over at collegeprepresults.com.